This is the third video in a complete course on problem solving using 8D methodology. So far, we have covered D0 that is the planning and emergency response action stage, D1 that is the team formation stage and D2 that is the problem description stage. If you haven't seen those videos, I am giving a link on the top right hand side of this video under the i button, and in the description box. In this video, we will cover D3 that is the interim containment action stage. At the end of this video, you'll be able to identify actions needed to contain a problem temporarily and will also be able to document these actions in an 8D format. Purpose of the ICA that is interim containment action or correction is to stop the occurrence of the same problem and prevent its passing to customer end by taking precautionary measures. For example, Let's assume a restaurant is receiving multiple complaints regarding the taste of the food. The restaurant owner has to solve the problem in order to retain existing customers and prevent the restaurant from closure. But he can't close the restaurant until the problem is resolved. Hence he will need to take containment action to correct the problem temporarily. He will need to take two types of containment actions. The first one is occurrence control. The problem of tasteless food has to be stopped from occurring. Hence the first focus should be on controlling the method that is the cooking process here. This can be done by following the process or recipe as defined earlier and controlling the process of cooking. In case feasible and being essential considering the severity of the problem, other areas such as man, to improve awareness regarding the problem or complaint and procedures to be followed and providing training to improve competence. Machine, by doing necessary maintenance of machines which would have caused the problem. Material, ensuring the quality of materials used. The second type of containment action is detection control. Since we don't know the exact root cause of the problem, the occurrence of the same problem is still possible even if precautions are taken. Hence we need to be able to detect the problem in case it occurs. Hence we will need to either improve the detection method and, or increase the detection frequency. Example. Problem is X dimension over size. In order to control occurrence, we will need to identify the stage where the defect occurred. Then actions such as focused setup approval, led process audits to ensure the process is followed as planned can be taken. In order to control detection at the manufacturing stage, actions to increase detection frequency, display of one point lesson to improve operator awareness of the problem and precautions can be taken. Prior to dispatch, actions such as improving detection method, increase in inspection frequency can be taken for detection control to prevent passing to customer end. This is a table describing how containment action is to be documented. You can pause and have a look at the table. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe and share if you like the content.